Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to Monster Sanctuary. Now, um, we've entered into the Mystic Workshop, which is the final area that's currently available, although the game will be uh, fully released uh, in early December, and we'll get the last two areas added to the game then. The Band Tower and a, and a secret one we've not yet learned, learned the name of. So looking forward to that. For right now, let's go ahead and get ourselves exploring. We have our dragon team ready to go. They showed off last time. We have uh, Igneal, Hyoin Maru, and Fa uh, Fafnir. I'm looking forward to trying out. Mm, all right, lots of gears. I like it. This place has to hit. Oh, hello there. What the heck is that? Oh, and Steam Golem is here. Okay. What's with the, what's with the bird, though? Stolby. Huh. Huh. Okay. Uh, weak to physical. And weak to air. We can cover that. Sure. Yeah, we got that. Alright. So the Dragon Squad, uh, above all else, has a ton of buffing options. And I'm looking forward to trying them out. Let's go ahead and get Life Channel going first. I love the blue fire on the dark shifted, um, uh, uh, Dragon Grand. Uh, dragon squin, uh, squin, squin, dragon squin. No, um, let's go with, uh, yeah, barrier, I guess, first. Sure. There we go. Look at all those extra buffs. Wizardry, more channel, more power. Extra flame. Looks like they're going after Fafnir first. Poison Cloud. How much going on from there? Alright, Forge. I guess I shouldn't take too long to sit here and get ourselves all in a row. Alright, Aerial Strike. See, because, like, aside from Fafnir, the dragons don't have humongous crit chances. They, they're like they're, they're, they're kind of set up. So you can build them that way if you want to. But, um... For the most part, I think they are um, a more magically inclined, but well, no, sorry, uh, the raw power inclined, not like magic or physical, but because they're 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 hybrid attackers. Um, but uh, Fafnir has got his crit, but the other two, especially especially the, the the fire one, just has enormous enormous attack stats. So, chilling wind. Chill and shock, very nice. Um, the soul beam doesn't do as much good here because they resist earth. Claw is neutral and physical, so we can probably shred one of these bird things. Let's give it a whirl. I actually got Fafnir's crit chance up to over seventy percent. It's like it's like seventy-six percent or something like that, which is pretty pretty ridiculous. Oh, they can heal. Uh, isn't that nice? The one thing I don't like about the dragons is that they're not set up for um, debuffs. Like you can burn people. And like chill people, and that's great and all, but they don't have congeal, so the chill doesn't do any damage. It's kind of a shame. So I always forge. Do with some crit as well. There we go, glory across the board will make our Fafnir even stronger. Wind. They can multi uh, multi stack chill, which is nice. I'll I'll, I'll say that much. There's a lot of crits. Because, yeah, with uh, with Glory on, I imagine his crit chance is probably... Jeez. 80-something percent? That's ridiculous. Because, yeah, Glory increases crit chance by 10%. So, yeah, he's at, like, 86% chance crit right now. I'm just crit damage by 20% as well. Can we multi-stack Glory? I forget. I don't think so. Hmm. Why don't we have this guy uh, chip in some damage as well? Like I said, the Dark Grand hits really, really hard. Even though he doesn't score... Well, he gets crits now, I guess, but... He's not hes not inherently set up for crits, but... They hit, they hit, they hit, they hit solidly enough that it doesn't matter too much. That's some impressive damage. Still, as powerful as they are, 
That was what, four or five turns? Granted, we took some time to buff ourselves and such, but... 4.3. Still got four stars, though. Not bad. Alright, fair enough. Still kind of getting the hang of them, but... They're pretty strong. I like it. Right, we can go up. We can go... Oh, we can jump on the pipes. Nice. Very, 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 very chemical plant. Is that a living oven? Well, yeah. I guess it is. Okay. Polter oven. Hmm. Alright, weak to water. Well, we got water. Some, anyway. Alright, well, life channel's a good one to start us off. Well, actually, no, I'll use wizardry, actually, because it's channel and sorcery. Buffs all of our damage, which we need, so that's fine. We can do that. Um, aerial strike. Whirlwind. With the aerial strike. So it gets him a uh, sidekick as well. And then when one of these guys buffs themselves, they all get buffs on all of them. But like they, they like they, they can, they get, they're they're excellent at uh, sharing the buff around, which is very nice. Snow Veil. We'll explode a weakness. It'll apply shield. It'll buff. Uh, it'll, it'll apply barrier to us. Free buffs for all. But um, I will say that there is some mana trouble with a couple of them because like only only Drakazul, the Ice Dragon, really bothers too much with like having high mana. But because they can multi-stack uh, channel, it doesn't exactly matter. You know what I mean? So you kind of end up not worrying about it too much, which is really nice, honestly. Soul beam, anyone weak to, weak to uh, earth? No, okay. That's fine. We got claws, they do crazy damage. Crit for days and days and days and days. This guy, I guess. We have ice claws as well, but it's not. Of course, 60% versus. Yeah, it's not as strong. Right. Snow Veil. That final attack that the the, the 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 oven is doing at like triple triple ghost at the end of his attacks. I'm wondering what, wondering what that's about. All right, we're gonna let the ice dragon follow up. Those crits do good damage either way. Finish it off with Snow Veil. Hoping to get the egg for, for, for these, these oven dudes, because they really seem interesting. Four stars, Phoenix Tear. No such luck. Oh well. We'll get him eventually, I'm sure. We can go through here. Oh, we got some fire, uh... Fire switches. Um... We might need a goblin archer for that. It's kind of a little farther out than we'd like it to be normally. Hmm. But he can't do it while jumping, so... Um, I don't have one on me, though. Okay, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Do I have a goblin archer egg on me somewhere, maybe? Goblin hood, light shifted, that'll work. Goblin hood! Light Shifted Edition. Just leave them as the name for now. That's fine. I can change it later if I need to. Goblin Hood. Goblin Hood. I 
Oh, you hit like all, all, all these at once. Jeez, okay, hi. You gotta go really fast, okay. Like no time to do that. Wow, okay, hi. Um one moment then you guys. There. I missed. It's like here. Okay, so it's like this step. Okay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, rush that. Summon sword. 45 magic and non-critical damage increased by, increase by 10%. Oh, nice. So purely, purely magical blade. But still pretty cool. That's a steam golem, but it looks different than the one I know. Do we champion fight? What's, what's the deal here? We can talk to him. Trade golem. Greetings, keeper champion, Madamon. You are talking to trade golem. Steam Golems wish, wish, wish to increase the production of trust between the biological and the mechanical residents of the sanctuary. Therefore, Trade Golem offers different wares to you that were crafted in the workshop. Oh. Shield Generator. Charging Sphere. Thermal Reactor. Craft Box. Random Craft Materials. Nice. Battle Ring, Mana Ring, Sustain Ring, Level Badges. That's kind of cool, actually. You crit chance and crit damage from, from the reactor, and you can apply burn or chill. Kind of a low percent chance, but still. This one's quite nice. Half your mana as a shield at the start of every turn. And a couple of, a couple of critters that could really benefit from that. Nice. Okay, cool. So there's a, a golem store. That's pretty swell. Swell. It's cool. <laughs> Boy, that's swell. Why is there... It seems like there's a, an, an, an above here for some reason. Ah, okay. There's a room above us with salad hammers and ovens. Okay. Well, let's go find that button. Which is an over here, too. So... Let's drop down first. Oh, more Stolbees and a little... Eye drone kind of thing. The Oculus. Oh, Rift. Spiffy. We need to wind. We got wind. Boy, we got wind. Um, forge. Wizardry. We'll go ahead and start off with the chilling wind. Alright, slime shot, so some poison. Spectral flame. They're pretty strong, those birds, actually. They did pretty solid damage. Poison cloud as well. Shadow Storm flies blind to all of them, which is good because I, I believe one of his one of his uh, auras increases the damage our whole party does the blinded enemies. Kind of a cheap shot kind of idea. There we go. Goodbye, Oculus. This is the other the physical. That's right. This air strike is still a little on the weaker side, but. Poison. They must both have um, poison stacking.
All right, you're gonna airstrike this guy. The poison that might just take him down, maybe? With the claws. He does so much damage with those crits of his. I'm really quite impressed with Fafnir. Like, like the, the other two are nice, but they're kind of like, like a supporting role. Fafnir does most of the heavy lifting with those claws. He's not anything that's weak to physical anyway, because he is neutral, unfortunately. Well, I guess not unfortunately per se, but, you know. Neutral tends to be a rarer weakness. They're not really outperforming the team I had before, because they had a lot of debuff going on. They're definitely a nice, solid team. Like, they're, they're a lot of buffs, a lot of strength. You know, not a bad thing. Level badges. Bruce of Crush do that. Raven plus five. Health and mana. Nice. Does that just open and close periodically, or how does that work? Oh no, there's a switch here. Duh. Okay, well, fine. Uh, Mega Rock. Okay, you're gonna move that. I have an idea. Yep, I'm looking, I'm looking, uh, something looking push. Um, like you. You push that over. Push this in. We do need that. Do we need to do that right this moment? Maybe. around. No, we can't go out and around. Well, where's that switch, then? Uh, okay. Hold the phone, then. Hold the phone. You go there. Okay, so down here we have one of these. Opens that. We can pull out uh, the big rock guy again. Holding down all three switches, but okay, okay. Hang on, there's more, more switching to do. It seems. Opens that, that opens that. There are a bunch of these. Oh, I see. I, I, you need that to get to the to get to the, the, the treasure. Okay. All right. Hmm. You need to run to the other side of this, though. How? Because we can't get across that one right now. There's no other way to the left of this. I can't get through that because it's in the way. Okay, hang on. We're going to need to push this one over here to hold that open for us. And push this one all the way through. Thing pretty much. Okay. Let me hop up here. Put down the big rock. Just what? Oh, yeah, we can get this now. I'm sure that does something. I do like how the game lets you, like, 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 if you're in the room and have no way out, that door doesn't close until you leave the room. That's nice of it. Just because, like, if you didn't do that, you'd be stuck. Alright, that gets through here. Around to this side. There we go.
Okay, a big rock. Get through here. Skill potion. Craft boxes. Nice. Blue gem and linen. Green gem and cotton. And iron. Nice. I love that for us. There we go. Is there anything we need in here? I guess it is, yeah. A little roundabout right about puzzle, but nice. Some nice rewards out of it. We're going back up, it seems. Interesting. I didn't see anywhere, anywhere else to go in here. Oh, up here. Ah, there we go. Hey, this guy again. Hello again. How you doing? Did you guys your Scorch yet? I hope your Scorch has been as, as useful to you as it has been to me. The mystical worship is quite fascinating, isn't it? Think that I didn't even know this place existed, and it's so close to the stronghold, too. Funny how some place in the sanctuary can only be reached with the help of a certain monster, isn't it? It's even more important to have. Anyway, since it seems that our fates are intertwined, I've been wanting to give you, give you this. Oh, nice. Shift stone. I, guess I don't have to tell you, I guess I don't have to, have to tell you what, what, what that is. You should be able to make good use of that, right? What I've heard, the champion monsters only get tougher the deeper you travel in the sanctuary. Well, that works too, huh? Yeah, anyway, I'll probably stay here for now. So you'll know where to find me. Fair enough. And there's the warp back to the sanctuary. Another poulter often. Oh, didn't mean to hit him, but sure. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Wizardry. Forge. And Snow Veil. Of course, they have Forge, too. Decent burn damage, but not enough. That's oh, right. Right, yeah, his, uh, the, um, Dracogran's Grand's Arrow Strike at level 2 applies Might as well as Psychic. I need, I need, I'll need to get that on our Dracozool. Roll up the claws. No, uh, Shadow Storm actually makes more sense. A bunch of crits, some blinds. Means that the snow veil will do more damage. I love how much shielding the Zool can put out, mostly on himself, but he can also shield his, his allies a little bit, which is nice. Strike. Combo started. I will say that the uh, the sidekicks definitely help ramp up that combo too, because it can like triple stack uh, sidekick. So it's th like three extra hits, which is really nice. And Snow Veil. I will say that the ice damage is a little underwhelming. Like, 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 like I said before, they're a very solid team, but their damage is not quite as exemplary as the as, as our previous one. But that team was a lot less durable. Like, I'd say these guys are much better rounded. Like, they have a lot of buffs, they're quite hard to kill. 
They do good damage, but not exceptional damage. You know what I mean? They're 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 very a very solid, very 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 nice team to have. But the uh, shock hopper and friends we had before was just like you know debuffs, congeal damage out the wazoo, the whole the whole bit. And that really does seem to be where most of the damage in this game comes from. Although this team also has, I think, um, pretty much total, total, uh, stat coverage, which is nice to, I'm not type, sorry, type coverage. Like, they've got magic, they've got physical, they've got earth, wind, fire, water, everything. Bolter off an egg. Nice. I'll hatch one of those soon. Um, wish I had some idea of how, smoke bomb, wish I had some idea of how long this area was. Like, we're, we're, we're not really in any particular rush. We've got until the start of next month before the whole uh, game is released. But at the same time, the last few areas have been rather substantially large. Like, the magma chamber is pretty big. Um, you know, the underworld was fairly large. We only just kind of scratched the surface of this place. But we did solve that puzzle. Raspberries. Oh, there's an alchemist. All right, so tell you what, you guys, we're gonna we're gonna. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to hold down. We're gonna leave this one off for now. Keep it nice and short. We'll come back to see what this alchemist has in store for us on the next one. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. Hope you had some fun. Hope you're enjoying the dragon team. Um, I might toggle Zappy Feet and the others back in for the next one. We'll see. I mean, they're 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 ready to go, you know ready to go pretty much any time. Which reminds me, I can actually shift one of these guys, and I can't die. Hmm. Dark Penguin. Oh, curse Chain can spread the debuff. That's the same as the Troll. Curse Breaker. Remove a debuff from each monster in the party. That's nice to have, too, honestly. And you, Mana Donor, just like okay, but. Uh, critical Apex. The crit chance of every consecutive hit is, is increased by 3% continuously. So, like, um. Oh, what was that one, that one talent called? I know he's got it. Hang on. Uh, it's Cascade. It's Cascade, but instead of damage, it's crit chance. Huh, that's pretty exciting, actually. His crit chance is only like 31% normally, but with that, I mean, it's what, 3% continuously? A lot of his hits are like, moves are like four hitters, so it's at least a 9% hike. And it's not that much, but it is definitely exciting to have. Some of his spells hit multiple times, too, like. Five times. It would, it would, uh, Arcane Bolt would hit eight times if I had that up, but I don't because he's max level now. So but this is six times, six times, only twice on the Ice Storm. In all fairness, I guess, but and it's not bad. It's it's still better than Mana Donor anyway. Like it's not gonna give him like a huge crit, but I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of Mana of um, Mana Donor, especially in this party configuration, because like his other two teammates don't really need any extra help with their mana. So. We'll go with, uh, the Penguin of Doom. Like, removing debuffs is nice and all, but it's not really a problem for us at the moment, because as, as I recall, he's already got some means of doing that anyhow. Um, one of them does, anyway. Somewhere, somewhere on this team, like, he's got Restore, so we don't really need to worry about that too much anyhow. Yeah. So let's go, let's go with uh, Dark Shift as uh, Zappy Feet. Join the Dark. I, honestly, I, I I don't mean to keep Dark Shifting everything I get, but it just seems to be the way to go, you know? <laughs> A lot of their abilities are just kind of what I prefer. Dark Shifted. The Sinister Penguin. Looks, looks, looks pretty snazzy now, actually. I already did, though. He was cute. Once again, you guys, thanks so much for being here. I hope you guys had a ball. We've been checking out some interesting, um, interesting monsters. I'll, I'll, I'll hatch and check out the uh, the Polter often as well, uh, between between streams or not streams episodes. So see you next time, you guys. Thanks again for checking this one out. If you enjoyed yourself, consider hitting the like. And if you really had some fun and want to make sure you don't miss anything on the channel, consider hitting the subscribe. I'll see you real soon. Take care of yourself because you're worth it. And for now, a monster mad out. Bye bye.